Gozo. Good morning. Welcome to rainy Bremen. Bremen, Germany. And you, we start at the pigs, and that's because there was a pig market at this place. A lovely statue. It is a rainy day today. Uh, it's February, and it's a very quiet uh, at the moment, but usually these pigs are a hot spot of tourists and children and people that uh, want climb. to ride them. Yeah, and climb, climb on them. them. And today we take you to for a tour through the old start of uh, Bremen. We really love this city. It was a big surprise for us. Um, we came here uh, on a trip for Hamburg and Bremen. And I know I'm going to offend some people here, but I like Bremen much better than Hamburg. I do. Uh, I do as well. Uh, Bremen is smaller and that makes all hotspots uh, all nearby. A nice walk. We will see most of the hotspots in this video. It's, it's, uh, it feels older, this city, for me. It has more history uh, in it. And we start at uh, one of the shopping streets. And here on the right is a 130-year-old bakery. They have lovely breakfast. Breakfast, lunch and uh, cakes. cakes. Uh, if you're hungry, go to this place. It's uh, really, really good. We had breakfast there. Yes. It was great. Glad it wasn't included in the hotel. Otherwise, we would have missed the perfect croissant. The um, hotels are all around the city center. So, um, yeah, the, the hotels are like five minutes walk away. There are a few that are in the city center, but honestly, um, the ones around the center are fine and it's not far, so you can uh, save some money and stay on the outside of the city center. And as you can see up front, there is a small red kiosk. And they are, they are for a lottery. And At the moment, they're, they're not there all year. And if you buy a ticket, you support the maintenance of the local park. You can win nice prizes like cars, but also a bag of crisps. Yeah, it's it's for uh, the the people that live here. So it's mostly lo uh, locals. Yes, absolutely. And it's a f great way to uh, maintain the surroundings, the park, to uh, get the money for that. Maybe you've seen more of our videos, and then you know we are Dutch. So we live uh, in the Netherlands, next to Germany. Um, and it's always fun to find some local heritage in other countries. And there is a local heritage. First, a quick peek at the church, but there is the Dutch cheese and nut uh, bar. bar. <laughs> and it's here every day. Yes. Uh, you can buy local uh, Dutch uh, delicacies, but don't buy the stroopwafels. They are very expensive. Come over to the Netherlands. Well, probably for everything here. We saw the price of the Stroopwafels, but I can ma imagine the other stuff is pricey as well. So if you're interested in this stuff, come to the Netherlands. The church, we didn't go in this church. There are several churches in Bremen. And um, we went into one. This one was closed at the moment. And... Germany is still very religious, so there are lots of active churches and um, religious places. You see many uh, churches in al almost all du German uh, cities. This one is a really old one. It's a medieval church. And this city is, uh, has uh, quite some history in it. Mm -hmm. Most buildings you see are from the 15, 1600s. The time of the Hansa uh, cities. Hansa was a trading route, mm -hmm. and um, the Hansa cities have a similar style in them. So if you've been to a city, you will recognize the style. Uh, of this is places. a very old house. There was a Bratwurst uh, shop in there, but and they didn't survive the COVID crisis. But it will reopen soon as a coffee place, and it's such a cute house. 
You're going to the market plaza, the, the market. Yes, but first another stop. Uh, I think the thing most people know Bremen for are the Bremen mu musicians. And of course you see them all around in Bremen. It's the fairy tale of the music playing donkey, uh, dog, cat, cat and um, chicken. Yeah, a cockscrew, uh, a male chicken, how do you call them? But there's a statue next to the city hall and we walk up to it. There, it's a place where people obviously love to take a picture, so we'll give these people some peace and quiet, um, some privacy, but um, yeah, it's, it's the place to take a picture in Bremen. And um, the tale goes, if you touch the donkey's nose and one yeah. of the legs, mm -hmm. then you can make a wish. Um, and that's why you see those places of the statue are gold, because they're touched by lots and lots of people all day long. And we made a wish as well. Of course we did. We had to clean the lens. Yes. And the story goes that the, probably these figures were long, long while back. There were uh, people dressed up like a donkey, like a dog, like a cat. It, like was, a it was a mu music band yes. of people dressed up like animals. But for the fairy tale, it's more cute to say there were actual animals. And now we walk up to the Marktplatz. One of the central squares of Bremen. It's a UNESCO heritage, so it's, it's absolutely beautiful. They can't change it. Um, they, there's one building that's um, more recent from the 60s. 60s and the other places are, have real history in them. And now we walk up to a famous statue, erected in 1404, the night. It's in front of City Hall. And let's get in front of it. What was the name of? Knight Roland. Roland, yes. And he, oh, I'm not quite sure what he was famous for, but he had a big role in the creation or the protection of this city. St. Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, we will walk next to that, but first we will go to this little alleyway. The building on the right is a Hansa uh, building trading building and all those cute houses. I love these kind of old cities. And you can see the golden plague up ahead. Don't miss that spot. Nope. We won't visit it today, but Bremen also has nice waterfront area with lots of bars and places. So if the weather is nice, it's a more busy place. Yeah, and in summer there's a beer garden and there are a lot of things to do. It's worth visiting. And when I walked up to this street the first time, I was, oh my, just like Harry Potter, Tiger Alley. It's called the Butcherstrasse. It's and it's transformed in 1926 to 1938 into a street for Musea. Uh, and it's one of the most popular tourist attractions of the city. It's not that old, but it has a very quaint feel to it, and it's full of statues and 
side steps, um, little shops. And the Glockenspiel, the, the bells are here as well. So yep. if you know Bremen from the bells, then you need to go in this street. And in the street you can find uh, shops, art shops, but also a museum. A very cute um, candy store also. You've got a smaller one here and the larger one, we'll walk up to that later. And, and this is the entrance of the museum? Yes. Here is the first, uh, the smaller candy shop. Mm -hmm. With also a water fountain. Yes, with the musicians, of course. Unfortunately, the rooster is missing. Um, it was stolen all the time. Yeah, so, so they left the legs and replaced it by this sign. It's um, very early, it's nine o'clock in the morning right now. So it's, um, some places are still closed, but, and of course it's winter. So um, later in the year, the, the shops are open longer and earlier. And uh, right now um, they will open later today. But we came here when it was still uh, very quiet. And here you get the, the bells. Around the corner. And it's also a cute show. It's the show is at twelve o'clock, at three o'clock, and at six o'clock, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, at least it is now. Yeah, at right now. And, and the bells are up there. Let's show them there. They are. And uh, the wall moves and has these plaques. The upper window in the uh, tower. In the tower, yeah, and it has these plaques of uh, ships and planes, planes, and and some history in it. It's a really cute show, if you can uh, see it. The, the place will be full as well. It's about a 10 minute show. And here's some more statues of the museum. And we told you, bronze is go uh, colored golden when touched uh, often. So hmm. you can imagine what happens here. And we will go to the stained glass windows right now. Oh, this is also a cute statue. Weird little, I'm not sure what it is, but. And here, um, if you're wondering what these windows are, it's an advertisement. For the caf cafe. <laughs> yes, it's a very old advertisement. But yeah, well, it's a very smart way to do it. But all Germans still know the brand. From the decaf, cafe, coffee. Um, we're going back now because we want to go um, on the other place of town. But if you go a uh, little, little bit, bit further, further, there's also a, a small aquarium in the street. It's also quite fun for children. And um, there's a li little... Aquaria with fish in them. Here's a famous restaurant known from all the politicians who eat there. It, it was in Bonn and now it's a franchise and it's also in this street. They've got lots and lots of pictures uh, on the walls of all the famous people who came to eat here. So if you want to become a famous German politician, start <laughs> eating here. <laughs> Not sure if it works that way, but you can try. It, it really has a Harry, Harry Potter feel to it, don't you think? I do, oh, it does. There are also cute little signage and look up when you visit this city. It's um, There's places and things to see everywhere. And as you can see on the right, there's a map of the street. 
and you find them on several places in the city. Yeah, it's, it's not that big, so it's hard to get lost, but it's great they have these uh, little signage up, so you always know where you are. You can find your way around. And if you think this street is small, wait, wait for it. We will visit the tiniest street in Bremen. The tightest street, yes? The tightest, yes. Smallest. But first, of all, a nice view of City Hall. <coughs> it seems Gothic. Renaissance Gothic. There is also, we will walk up to it now, but it didn't work for us, uh, so we won't show you. But there's a well in the street there over there next to the van. Um, if you throw a coin in there, it should um, it should have a sound of the Stats musicians. And all the uh, money that's collected there goes to charity, but um, it didn't work for us. So we skip it for now. Yeah. And up ahead is the Cathedral of St. Peter. I said St. Patrick uh, earlier on, but it's St. Peter. It was burned to the ground twice in yep. its history. It was restored in 1898. For the last time. And we went in there we, uh, yesterday. We won't show you. It's, it's a nice church, but it's not all that special, but if you are here, go in it, it's... Uh and look, here's a miniature city of Bremen. Yes. So you can see where you've, you go and where you've been, and that's the part we go to visit, the tiny houses over there. It's the oldest part of the city. Oh, and if you want another good place to eat, um, then you go left here, and it has a food court. A nice food court over there to the right. And you can have dishes from all over the world. Please be aware, uh, if you are used to work with bank cards or credit cards, they are not always accepted in Germany. They are a little bit old fashioned in money, so you find some places who say cash only. So bring some cash. Otherwise you have to find it very quick and Most credit cards are accepted, except Amex, American Express, that's mm, accepted in some places, but not all. In Europe, mostly MasterCard and Visa are accepted. And we'll go around here and um, show you the, the, the city of the, the, the place, the square, and... Um, Right there, let me show you, over there, that one. That's um, a, a statue no. where they used to, uh, in Place the old days. Place reclamations. Yes. It has um, a st little statue on it from people with horns that are spreading the message. And they're not, uh, the, the city center has very little cars, which is great, I love it. It has some trams in it. Mm -hmm. You can get, can get around with public transportation. Most buses. cars are sent outside of the city, around the city center. I love that about cities. It, it makes it a very walkable city. And you only have to watch for buses and trams. Mm -hmm. There's a bus. And bikes, of course. Bikes, of course. And they've but got little step, uh, scooter steps as well that you can rent. It's less lousy. Uh, lousy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, not lousy, loud. Less loud. Uh, noisy, less noisy. noisy. <laughs> I was looking for the word noisy. Uh, Hamburg was very noisy, and Bremen is much more quiet and walkable. And I enjoy this city to walk around. And the building you see on the left early on with the towers, it's a courtyard. No, not a courtyard, a court, court. courthouse. <laughs> it's a court and it's still active. 
it's still used as a court building these days, yes. And we had an amazing tour guide yesterday. Uh, shout out to Shirin, thank you. Um, we would not have found this place ourselves properly. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. It's, it is on all the websites to visit in Bremen and it's a must visit. So yes. please, if you're in Bremen, do visit the part of the city we walk up now. It's the oldest part of the city. the street here and there are a lot of schools in this area the building on our left is the old post office and it's now we're uh, transformed into a school and it's in session so we won't film in that's not disturbing yeah also across the street is a school Biker, yes, now we can cross. You, you can bike in these cities, it's, um, but coming from the Netherlands, personally, I think it's a hazard the way the streets are. And um, all the small cobblestones. Now, yeah, the, the cobblestones are okay to bike, but it crosses just with regular traffic a lot. In the Netherlands, the bike lanes are mostly separated from the uh, streets where cars drive. It's much safer. And now we walk up to the oldest, par the oldest part of the city. It's medieval. And you really have that feel when you walk here. It's mostly shops, but people live here as well. Shops, restaurants and housing. It's called Schnorr. And that's because they used to make ropes, ropes here. Yep. Another church. <laughs> and now it's really quiet. But in summer days and in summer it can be jammed. So be prepared. It's crowded. It can be crowded. It can be crowded. But it's worth it. You can really just get lost here. It's, it's such a cute place in town. And um, it, it's quite touristy. So this place uh, we walk by now really has the, the tourist treats, the, the things to eat. But it's not the best place in town. If you're hungry, go to this place on the left with the blue signage. A real cool old Dutch. A German, <laughs> a German cafe, uh, good coffee. One of Very the best places uh, I got coffee in Germany. Oh, and the yellow um, telephone booth. booth. Um, it, well, it doesn't work anymore as telephone booths because who needs telephone booths uh, at this moment? But it's a, a garden now. It's really fun. A city garden. A city garden, yes. And this is where Schnorr is famous about. Famous for, yes. This little street with lots of side streets. We'll enter one, uh, but there are more to explore. And the most shops are closed now, but um, when it's later on in the day, it will open. And it will get busier as well. Rapunzel sign up there. The signs are really cool here. Most of them aren't medieval, but they're in style. It feels like you're thrown back, uh, back in time. Yeah, it really does. A 
We'll enter the street right up here. Mm -hmm. And next to it is the tiniest street in Bremen, we're told. We thought it was the tiniest street, but it's not. And oh, this place is cool as well. This is the Hochzeit House. Yeah, the marriage house. It's a small hotel now. Uh, a really small hotel in the place where Only you one used room. To, yeah one room and you can, can book it as an Airbnb then you have to you can stay at the middle of snow who doesn't want that <laughs> well I think in the summer it's 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 loud yeah and when you walk right up there's a cool statue in the building uh, of the Bremen Stadsmusikanten as well uh, where you can see people dressed as uh, the animals, but we'll walk to the tiniest streets. Oh, let's show you around first. Look at this little place. And if you don't know the street is there, you wouldn't know, you no. wouldn't see. You have to know. It's right. Ta da. Closed. It's closed. No. <laughs> of That's a pity. Yeah, but you can walk up there when the fence is open. When the restaurant is open, the fences are open, and then you can walk through. Well, we can show you the other side of this little street, and you get an idea. But that's the cool, or the cool thing about this place. You can really discover these little streets and places that you uh, don't see when you walk up there. So it's really a discovery. So this is the other part, uh, end of the street. The other side, yes. And, oh, yeah, well, there are so many cute streets here. There's a little art street up ahead, but, oh, it's, yeah, it's here. And there are people living at the end of this street. Yes. And most uh, houses still have like a stone or a sign saying when it was built. We will go up to one li little blue one now, over there. It's 17, 1750. Ow. It's almost 300 years old, give or take, 30 years. And... Up ahead is the other part, the, the bigger candy sh store we will, where what we told you about. Um, th this is also there? part of Snor. Over there is the Christmas shop, also a really cool shop. Over there? Yes. And now we walk up to the candy store. Let's buy some candy, so we'll end up our tour here. Yes. Let us know what you think of this video and if you like it and what other places you would love to visit with us. Let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more cities. Oh, it, the smell is amazing. Over oh, already. it smells so sweet. They are so good. You, if it's open, please visit. Thank you for watching.